Hello friends, a good day to all of you out there. I want back into the booster and the motivation session and Taya RF team is praying for you guys. And I hope and I pray that everything goes fine for you. Best of luck. And you're here today to meet that we are ready for this exam. A warm welcome from the entire team of RFA tutors. Thank you so much for joining us. My voice audible and clear to all of you out there. Hello, Melela. Thank you so much for joining in. The voice is clear, please. Yes. Okay, great. I just wanted to meet you guys. I actually decided, Ritu, to meet uh, tomorrow, but then decided earlier uh, because a few of the people that will be traveling in the last moment. So um, they might not be able to um, attend the last minute booster and motivation. I would just like to discuss with you all that we always have a feeling of being unprepared. And we always have a feeling if we would have had more time, we would have covered this. We would have covered that. We would have done one more revision of the recommendation, the algorithms, the patient safety point. And we all feel this way. What do you say, Asma? What do you say, Ritu? What do you say, Janavi? It's always a feeling of being incomplete before exam. And it's not the first exam of your life. You people have had so many exams. Just imagine when next morning was your MRCT part one. Just imagine that when it was next morning. I can imagine many of you when it was your MRCG part two next day? Yes, as Janavi is saying, I wish we had one more day <laughs> and see what Anthar is saying. I wish I had more time. I could get leaves. I could get time from my hospital routine. Anthar, Janavi, my dear Sobernika, everyone out there, you people would never have this feeling that we have completed our preparation. Nobody would do that, Muhammad my idea we all feel the same when it comes to exam and it's so natural to feel because exam when we say this exam it is a nervousness it's an anxiety because there is a feeling of being assessed and evaluating you know what is the biggest fear in life the biggest fear of uh being being facing some sort of a fear Failure, yeah. And when you know that you're being evaluated, uh, honestly, why do we do good deeds? We all do good deeds, I think, because um, we all are a little mean deep down inside because we want blessings from the Almighty. What do you guys say? Yeah, we all do the good deeds because somewhere inside we know that there is going to be a doomsday. We all do good deeds because we know whatever we are doing we are being assessed for it we will be evaluated for it and we will be actually blessed or for that matter punished for that correct that is the reason we actually perform certain activities and deeds in terms of um, being uh, towards the right path we all have done this hard work because we knew that this day is going to come and we are going to be ready for this uh, exam day the day is here and I wanted to tell you guys that despite this feeling, despite having this confusion and nervousness deep down inside, please tell yourself that you are ready because this being ready would be your first step of confidence, please. When you are taking exam, you are not the only one who is going to have a raised heartbeat, Simon. Faisa, it's not that you would be the only one who would be nervous. Everyone is nervous. Everyone is anxious. Everyone has got a raised heartbeat. It's so common, Anita, to feel this way. But we have to tell ourselves that it is not the end of life. It is not something which would affect our, uh, you know, maybe for one day, one is sad. For two days, one is sad. We, we put in hard work just to be successful. It's so natural. But if you start feeling that I'm not ready, I am the weakest in the circuit, you people would start having fumbling. You people would start having this raised heartbeat, telling yourself that I am not right and everybody is the best. This 
is one thing which you guys have to change today. Why we have come up to meet you guys, reason for that is that you should tell yourself that I'm ready for this. If you would say I'm not ready, I'm forgetting everything, definitely yes, it would affect your performance. Now, whatever we had to do, we have done it. Whatever we have to learn, we have learned it. But just take away this feeling of being assessed, being evaluated. What would I do if I have a mental block? What would I do if I'm speechless in the station? What would I do if I just start getting nervous? You have to tell yourself, I'm ready for this and I'm best in the circuit. I would just request one more thing please that many stations in between would be maybe not 100 percent but don't tell yourself that the exam is over why because for you if few stations go don't, don't go that way i mean the way you want yourself to perform it would be the same for others as well so at the end of the day it's a complete circuit which matters do you guys understand this point at the end of the day, the complete performance, the complete circle is what matters. So tell yourself that, see, if one station, two station, three stations go up and down, fight till the last station because that does make a difference. That does make a difference and that changes your destiny. Even the last station can make you pass the exam because you don't know what others are mistakes they're doing, what where others they are lacking. Nazia, Somia, do you guys understand this point? What I'm trying to communicate? Do you guys understand that? See, if you are doing a mistake, maybe double, triple mistakes the other student is doing in the circuit. So it's a comparison. You have to be better only be better when you have to fight back. I mean, you have to come back to the circuit. I won't say that nobody would do a mistake. You would definitely do mistakes because it's a circuit. It's a mistake like smoking. You might miss up. You might miss up tiny things, but never accept failure in the circuit. Just pat on your back telling, no, I still have to come back in my circuit. Shabnam wants to say something. Yes, Shabnam, students are desperate today for the motivation and booster sweetheart. Yes, even uh, Dr. Sedra, hello, uh, dear uh, friends. Uh, even uh, after listening to you, I have started a little bit tachycardia. <laughs> <laughs> because I remember uh, this is like a flashback of the previous memories. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand. And you know, that's why I'm saying, Shabna, everybody feels the same. It's so natural that if, uh, before every exam, even the tiny assessment, we feel that we have tachycardia. But mm -hmm. the only thing which I expect from all of them is that they don't lose their heart during the circuit. You have to tell yourself that you are the best because why we lose heart, why we lose the game in between? Because we see only our mistakes. If one station is difficult, everyone, we are expecting one to do new stations. If they are new, they're not only new for you. They're new yeah. for your neighbors as well. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, it's new for everyone. So why are you worrying only and you are, you know, just under nervousness, you're ruining your station. You have to come out stronger. That it's new for everyone. I will do it the best. Yes, I will make it the best performance just following the gist of intro, agenda, information gathering, taking it as a clinic patient, following the patient, Make the patient speak more so that you understand the gist of the station. It will be new for everyone. I do not want this nervousness, ma'am. This station was new. It won't be out of your curriculum. You've just had your MRCT part two. If anything would be new, that would be new for every, every candidate. So you have to be best in that station. Believe me, nobody can fail like 100%. They would definitely do a comparison and maybe... You know, somebody who is re reaching probably five out of 10 or four out of 10 would be the passing one in this. Do you guys understand my point? Everyone. So even if you can't do 100% the station, but you should understand, reach out to be in the upper strata. Reach out to be better in that. Exactly. <laughs> no, not only this, Salma Ruhi. They would make you go. See, inter information gathering has the same questions acknowledgement, nodding, listening to the patient, doing chunks. 
these are the things which are the basics and you can't you can't ignore their importance communication with the patient has got the same rules my dear why to get nervous the person who gets nervous and ruins the new station is only who just loses the heart saying oh my god this is not one of the repeat what would i do it's okay every yeah, station is doable for the station the information gathering you just come and take the station you know everything yeah you just have to take the station forward in a sequence that's it so my request to all of you today is number one please just leave this thought that i'm i'm still having an um, incomplete preparation i would i would i would be passing this because i'm the best mohammed mohammed you still are the same witty mohammed but you will do it my boy yeah <laughs> see anita um they're they're right in this what is the difference the only thing is that we need to understand the gist of exam yes umelela you have to reach up with an open mind hmm? so keep on checking their understanding keep on doing chunks difficult stations are more chances to pass because everybody is making mistake in them don't forget your basis in patient safety don't forget smoking cessation allergy documentation blood group documentation ntd uh, jehovah's witness all these are incident reports all these are the basic patient safety points you would encounter in one or other station these are the basics i don't want you guys to forget these basics because that would make a change right when you enter into the cubicle it's a simulated patient task uh, no need to agree to the examiner just go to the patient because you have read your intro already you have read your candidate instruction already you just make a good introduction and please to settle your tachycardia in the beginning let your patient talk more okay yeah. i always say please let listen to the low role I'll come player. up with this so how can i help you today even if you can't make a judgment yes listen to the role player and i keep on saying and noting yes i'm here to help you with this can i know more about this if you're not understanding the agenda you people have to make her expand on this by saying can you please tell me your basic concern so that i can address this let her be so straightforward in telling i am here to know about the surgical management of this this be very clear what you are going to do in 10 minutes because it's not about speaking it's about speaking what she wants to hear okay so these are the things which we had been practicing for months and months now is the time that just follow each station take it as it is my one request to all of you is that any station nazir mohammed any station where is amar my boy everybody is here so they join okay that's perfect yes i can see you guys so any any uh, uh station which goes a little up and down so that station gets over with 10 minutes i know it's very very difficult to leave that thought but please do not let it get affected your next one if you start doing this it will start a vicious cycle and unfortunately there would not be a break because it it will start getting piled up every individual examiner is different they don't know what you have done in the previous station they don't know what you are going to do in the next station please take every station as a new station and take every station while entering i have to pass this one and i will pass this exam i have to pass this one and i will pass the exam until the last one you have to tell yourself that every station you have to be best in the circuit all the all the candidates have to enter the cubicle with these high hopes and having confidence even if you don't know about that applied clinical knowledge please follow the pattern still you can pass if you just get connected to the consultant you get connected you just give the patient information leaflets you ask her about the next appointment if you're not confident about the treatment plan if it's something out of this world you still can pass the station provided head to toe you're confident if you start fumbling they can't help it if you just don't do the station they can't help it please they want to pass you help them to pass you don't force them you have to force them to fail you do you guys understand yes they are have all the all the helps and all the 
um, you know, sympathies with you guys knowing that yes, you people are appearing in exam. I always say that when you are entering into the cubicle, you always start with 10 by 10. It's never that you start with zero by 10. Please remember this, Somia, you all start with 10 by 10. It's only we coming to four, three, two. If you have this feeling that you are coming with 10 by 10, never you would have this difficulty. Never you would lose the exam. Start with good confidence and tell yourself while entering that I've already passed. I just have to fulfill these 10 minutes with a, with a good attire, already passing. I'm not having any sort of a, uh, any sort of a confusion in this. You should be very confident. And I always ask this question to you guys, why don't you fumble in your clinics? Why don't you guys think that, oh, am I doing the right treatment? Am I speaking the right counseling? Am I doing the right thing with my, my, my patients? Because you know that there is no examiner sitting seeing you, yeah? <laughs> right? So you don't have to uh, tell yourself that you're being evaluated. I request once again that we have really worked hard we have really worked hard on every aspect of yours. May that be your communication. I know the day you started. May that be your patient safety. May that be your applied clinical knowledge. Every day of the regular, every day of the fast track, every day of the mock exam, every day of the uh, of the domain workshop, every day of the last minute telegram. You people have been working so hard. So why should we suffer? And why should we lose the game? on just this mindset. I'm here today just to tell you that mindset matters a lot. And it's all about the how you just take stress. And I want that you guys now tell yourself that you're ready, you're the best, and you will pass the exam. And I again say, you people have to tell yourself that when you're entering into the cubicle, you start with 10 by 10. Believe in this that you start with 10 by 10. When you will believe that you are starting with 10 by 10, you people would understand that why am I reducing my score? I don't have to reach to 10 from zero. I am starting from 10 by 10. Won't make silly mistakes to make it come to zero. And I have strong faith in this, that the candidate forces to, to fail the station and makes a tiny effort to just be on the path to pass the station. So let be on the path, be on the central path, just follow the gist of the station from hi, hello, till the patient information leaflet and the support group. I just want that you guys stay on the right track and just follow the gist of the station. That's it. Nothing is going to be a difficulty for you guys. At the end of the day, it's your exam. Do not compare yourself with anyone. So it's just your exam. You are alone taking it. You are practicing with your body or you're presenting to ma'am the same way. Everything is going to be fine. Yes, yes, don't forget that, please. Yes, another thing is that I would just request all of you that the basics, please keep in your mind. I will be there in your last minute uh, group. I mean, the, uh, the exam WhatsApp. So the idea for meeting you in the morning and just before your exam would be that just last minute five to six points, which should be just your last minute thoughts. Please do not have long chats before exam. Just stay focused, talk less before exam because it's all about the speech and the mental um, stability coherence. And when unfortunately that coherence is not there, it, it is basically um, a loss because we start fumbling, the structure of the sentences, they start getting weak. Many of you have different strengths like communication, patient safety, applied clinical knowledge, information gathering. Be confident on your strengths. And if any weakness is there, so it's okay, nobody's perfect. Others have other weaknesses as well. So it's absolutely okay to tell yourself, stay calm, stay composed, and take it another day of practice. And again, I would say, fight till the end. The station gets over with 10 minutes. Start the station again with a score of 10 by 10 and maintain that 10 by 10 till the end. There would not be any difficulty. If you make any mistakes, leave that station when the bell rings. And on the next, next station, again, tell yourself that I'm starting with passing 
I don't have to come down in my score. You have to maintain that score because they will start you with the passing only. They will start you with the high score only. It's just you who's going to maintain that, just being on the right track. Don't get left or right. Just follow the role play or follow the agenda or follow the structure discussion pathway. Nothing is going to be difficult, please. Do you guys understand that? The basis of the patient safety, keep on reminding yourself. For me, I will keep on reminding you in the, in the last minute groups. I'll meet you guys in the morning, early morning before you people start every day. I'm sure you guys are in the same WhatsApp where you're taking your exams. I'm going to see you guys in the morning, just telling you some final things that please do not forget the basics. Keep on seeing your tasks. Keep on seeing your domains. Keep on telling yourself that what's asked. Keep your finger for face-to-face -face students on the domains which are there. If information gathering is there, don't forget that, please. Keep on reminding yourself for the patient safety. You all know that you have to do the smoking cessation. You all know you have to do NTD because they're very strict in patient safety. You know the patient safety no unnecessary history, but necessary history is to be taken. So don't lose those questions, score, which are important. And you would see, it's okay if it's face-to-face, -face, you say, I've got an emergency call from the labor suite. We'll get back to you and continue this. Is that okay? I'll fix the next appointment. Wind it up in a good way and have a good greeting. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for speaking to me today. Okay. So give a very good ending to the station, Nazia. All right. Okay. Anything which is troubling you guys, I'm going to meet you guys every day before your exam, the special exam students on that day. But anything which is disturbing you still, I would like to address that. Keep all these things in mind. Whatever I have spoken, you people have to write it down. And today only, you would write on your dressing table, putting a stick on, saying that I am the best. I'm ready for this. I will be best in my circuit. If one has to pass in the circuit, that will be me. And I want your full confidence. Tell yourself that you're, everybody's there to pass you. Nobody is there to fail you. Please don't look at the stories. Students are messaging me. My friend had a very bad instant, ma'am. She did this, she did this, but she failed. You don't know what she did. You don't know what she spoke. So it's all about, you know, uh, don't, don't listen to those stories and don't, don't talk to other people more because it just creates anxiety and nothing else. Don't look at the failures because when you look at the failures, you feel that maybe it's something not doable. It's not like that. All right. So absolutely it's doable exam. People had been doing it early. You would do the same. If unfortunately somebody is taking a repeat attempt, I would like to tell them that please wash away the previous history. Tell yourself that you're, you're, you're just the first timer. So don't have that baggage or feeling because that would reduce your confidence and that would reduce your performance, all right? So what I want in this situation is that from inside, your confidence comes up. That's only when you have faith in yourself. Focus on your own performance and please do not talk much left or right. Do not talk much in different groups because that creates anxiety, nothing else. At the end of the day, whosoever will be a strong performer that day will be passing. I'm yet to listen to a person, even the gold medalist, I'm yet to listen to any person who says that, yes, I would pass this exam because after exam, everybody just remembers the mistake. It's so natural. And I always tell them that it's a comparison. Please keep in mind, just try to be in the upper strata. Just try to be in the best ones and everything will be fine. Do you guys understand? Please stay focused. Less of the activities, please. Less of the parties, please. I want your good sleep before exam. That's really important because the older memories, and again, speech comes smoothly when you have taken an ample amount of rest. Don't bombard yourself with so many thoughts. Do not read anything in the morning because the station is not a template. The station is how you're going to take to and listen to the role player. Every situation differs, but exactly, Muhammad, all my lines with you. I love you all so much. You all have to trust yourself the most. I have full faith in you guys. Whatever it is, we will face bravely. Whatever would be the situations, we will come out stronger. It's just an MRCOG, guys. Relax. Relax because life is too big. And life is too big to hold lots of things, lots of things. You, your family, your kids, your partners, your husband, your wives, 
they all are very, very important. Yeah. So you have got the best study buddies, Muhammad. Yes, Asma's been the best study buddy, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. They will all be fine. Everything will be fine. And you people will be remembering that you people are just talking to each other the same way. Just try to follow the tips which I've mentioned. You all are going to make a screenshot of a sticky note in which you have written the positive things and share in your exam group. And I'm going to see that. And that should be on the mirror. We are going to, you're going to dress yourself up in the morning. Reason being that this is the thing which would make a change now. Now the studies and everything is just, just a filler. Now your mental mindset would make you perform. And that would make you go to the best. What I see the best of performances. Where are the best, best students of RFA? Would I see the best of the performances? Would I see the best of faith in yourself? Would you guys tell yourself that we'll go as warriors, we'll be the best in the circuit, we will follow the role player, we would listen to the role player, we would do our best, and we would be confident doctors in exam. We would be confident, and this is what they're looking at. We would acknowledge, we would listen to them, we would offer support. These are the basics, we would do that. And we'll come out with shining colors because the blessings are with us. And yes, we are ready. We are the best and we'll make it a success. All right, okay. Yes, Anita. Yes, Alia. Yes, Amal. Dina, Davina, Dan. Yes, everyone. I need a smile, I need a confidence. I need a faith in yourself. Hisham, my dearest. Naseem, Anjila, everyone, please. I need a thumbs up. I need strong heart. And I need confidence from inside. Where is Sindhu? Sindhu, my sweetheart. Yes, Manahil. And I can love uh, all those who can just writing still the same names of Mock, S4, S8, S9. Love you all, Tammy. Thank you so much. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Thank you so much, Salma Ruhi. And thank you, Masterit. You all would do the great. And you all, yes, Ishu, my dear, my S8. Thank you so much. You just have to stay connected. I would meet you guys 30, 35 minutes before exam, all of you. Reason for that is certain last minute points, which I want. And that should be the last thing you take before you start up your exam. Uh, again, I would request take a very good diet in the morning. Don't be hypoglycemic for the oyster in between. Please take juices, take some candies and take some food, attend toilet and then get back to the next set. And for the face-to-face, -face, please attend toilet prior to starting your circuit. So because there is an adrenaline rush and of course we all feel that there is an urge. So please take good food and... Um, the circuit, once it will start for the first and the second station, you will have a tachycardia. And then, you know, you'll realize when the circuit would end. It's the, it's the fastest time of your life you would feel. Yeah, you will not touch the patients at all. No examination at all. You would just speak up uh, in the face-to-face. -face and in the Oshla, you would just not say examination. Avoid that. You, you can say that in the next appointment, I can fix if at all you feel that's important. Okay. Uh, Saima Bakar, yes, last time students, they did. They didn't say anything, uh, but you do have a break after seven, so you can manage in that part as well. Okay. Yes, Daniel, you guys are in quarantine and uh, before and after. So the circuit where they're leaving, Daniel, they're not allowed to meet up the ones who are yet to do and the ones who have done. So they keep them separate. All right. Okay. So thank you so much for your precious time. Hello. We all love you Hello. so much. Yes, my dearest. Yes. So that my boy. Oh, I just have a Shall question that uh, yes ma'am yes ma'am yes okay. uh, what I want to say that in face to face uh, sh shall I have to uh, offer examination for every station especially in the, the station depends where upon, the patient has... so then depends upon for example if examination is provided to you so then you can skip and say that you've just been examined and it says you know so if okay. just it's been provided to you for something then you can skip it my dear Okay, because like at times it's, uh, doing an examination unnecessarily is also undermining of your colleague. Okay, okay. so if, like uh, for example, if, the, if it's a laboring patient, so and the midwife has just examined and it's been given to you, then you can avoid because no need to examine again. All right? Okay, okay. Uh, in the okay. case of OHSS, OHSS, the investigation has been provided. Then also I have to offer examination to know that what is the uh, abdominal birth or something. 
you can say, don't ex spend much time on this, but you can say, I would like to examine the independence of a chaperone if that's okay. That's it. So that point gets ticked. That's it. Okay. Thank okay. you. Anna. In Osla, Nazia, don't do that. In face to face, you can say, I would just like to examine the independence of a chaperone. That few seconds, that might be a point and it will get ticked. That's it. Okay. Hello, yes, ma'am. Thank you. So yes, my dear, rest, please. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, Madhuri. I love you so much. Yes. Ma'am, are, are we supposed to look at the examiner when they are also sitting in the role player is there or wish no. them or anything? No, 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 no need. No need. In the in the simulated patient task, right? Yes, ma'am. No, my dear. Go directly inside oh. and talk to the yeah, talk to the role player. Oh, thank you. Okay. No, thank you so much. Thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. Hello. Yes, my dear. I can I can listen to you. Yes, Anita. Yeah. If we need any investigation, so uh, I can say, na, can I have this investigation? Yes. If if investigations are there, you can say, can, I would like to know about this investigation. You're talking about the structured discussion? Uh, no. SPT, if if like in the male infertility, uh, there is only the azoospermia given and I, I am looking for the FSH. Uh, so can I ask an SPT or no? So you can say we'd like to have further hormonal investigations, which we are going to send today and follow you with the reports. So if you think that that can affect the plan or that can affect the um, the sequence, then you can mention that because that would be your applied clinical knowledge. Right. But uh, I, I will not ask examiner to provide at that moment. No, no. In simulated patient as generally, they don't intervene, my dear. They don't. Oh, OK. OK. okay. All right, um, ma'am. Hello, yeah, ma'am. Nazi has got a wonderful question. How to recognize the role player? So, guys, the examiner is always with the uh, with some sort of a writing material with a pen, and that's some sort of a board on which all the keys are there. So you understand that he's or she is the examiner. Okay. You understand, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kavya. Thank you, Babita. You want to say something, my girl? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, like uh, whenever we are uh, telling about one exam, I mean uh, one investigation, we will tell that uh, we have uh, verified the name and age and NHS number. Suppose if the GP mm -hmm. note says that uh, this is the examination findings, then what will we tell, ma'am? Like GP is telling like uh, uh, the patient has a scan finding of ten centimeter cyst. Then how will we tell the patient? According to your GP note, uh, he would have verified so, the so NHS number. So basically, you want to say that in candidate instructions, the invest the result is given to you. The investigation result is given to you. No, it's not given. GP letter only has this investigation. And uh, what type of investigation is it? I mean, like a scan report. It. Yes, scan report is saying no, if that. Scan is given. It's okay. Yeah, saying what? Uh, no, like okay. uh, in uh, in the. In the uh, means uh, when uh, in the mock exam, actually during mm -hmm. the uh, our hypoechogenic bubble, actually the report mm -hmm. was not given. Mm -hmm. In the notes, it was said that it is an echogenic bubble. Yeah, it's so okay. we can so you're say, going to take it right. Okay. Yeah, so we can, can say, say that we have been provided with that information no. and do a BBN yeah. with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, you so can take it correct, my dear. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. All you. right. Another thing, please. Seri is saying in Osla, it's difficult to know the role player. In Osla, the best part is, Seri, that you don't have to look at the screen. You have to look into the camera. Seri, when you look into the camera, for the next person, it seems that you're having an eye contact. Seri, do you get that, my girl? Okay. So even if you have three, part, three you know, videos and three uh, pictures, you don't have to recognize until unless this speak. Just look into the camera and introduce. Hello, I'm Dr. Sari, one of the doctors in the antenatal clinic today. So may I confirm your name and age? Got that? So the person who would be speaking would just come. Exactly. Focus on the camera only. That would show your best eye contact. Uh, where is Anita? Anita, do you get my point? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I am no, I I'm very, very, very upset from the Osler system. I'm very stressed. No, out. no, don't yes. say so, no. my dear. Osler has got its own benefits, my dearest. It's no, never like that. That you know something is totally bad. No, but but mm -hmm. my 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 stress is that how where I I will manage to write some important points from a station. There is a notebook, and we have you to can look do at that. the camera. And and we have yes. to type. This is a. No problem. Selection. None of the station would be so much that, you know, you're looking into it, everything. It would just be hardly, hardly one or two, which would be a little longer. That's it. Rest, uh, you can manage this way. Okay. So uh, the station will be on the screen, ma'am, it, itself. No? Absolutely. They will not remove, no? And if at all it goes right or left, you can click on the right to make it come on the screen. 
Last time it mm -hmm. happened with few of the students that they couldn't just reveal it again. So they touched on the screen, it comes back. Your chaperone can help help you with this as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay? Well, yeah, because writing, uh, writing, I uh, mean, typing on the computer on the notepad or for the debrief notes and looking at the camera is not possible for me. No, no problem. Side by side too. Rito, why do you want to touch the role player? No handshaking, my dear. No handshaking at all. No, Dr. no, Sidra. no role play touching, my dear. Why do you want to touch your junior? Dr. Sidra, Saubarnika here. Yes, sweetie. Uh, uh, face to face, I had uh, two problems. Can I mention, please? Please, please, uh, yes. yes. It would so, be guidance for others as well. You know? Very, very peculiar problems. In one, the labor ward prioritization, when I started reading, I found the room inside was empty. The examiner had left her place. She went to the washroom. She didn't tell anybody. So I started reading and it was an empty room. I didn't know what to do. So I just turned and stood. I stopped reading because I wanted, a, I insisted on a rerun. Because I lost two and a half, three minutes by the time she came back, took her seat. Face to face. Yes, it caused so much panic. Generally, it doesn't happen that in face to face, a role player is not inside, you because, know. Because it upsets the entire circuit. So Absolutely. I just turned, I stopped reading. I put my back against that uh, whatever was pasted. And I said, no, I'm not going to read. So they, the uh, people from the college who were there, they came and they interfered. Then they apologized to me. They said, we'll give you a rerun on this. And they said, it's a very peculiar situation, not happened before. So then so you had a rerun? Yeah, I did have a rerun. I was the last one. So, but uh, but I think that uh, was cost, not a very cost. pleasant. Yes, pleasant I know. It, it actually starts affecting, <laughs> look at Muhammad. Muhammad. <laughs> so it, because, it happened. Because she Samarika. was upset. Uh, I they, see. I think they, uh, they were very harsh on the examiner. So... That I can understand. Bad. And one other the examiner problem went to the examiner went to the toilet or the role player went to the examiner, toilet? Examiner. It was a labor ward structured. Oh, I see. So she was okay. very irritated. I was the last one in the uh, exam hall and I had to do a rerun with her. All I away. see. So, so you want to you want to say that her basically mental state was affected. Yeah, she was taken to the you know, Definitely. Yeah, uncomfortable. I can understand. And in yeah. one other one, sorry, one other station, the card which was kept inside on the table mm -hmm. was carried away by the previous candidate. She took it along with her notepad, and I had to read the uh, CA one two five. I had to read the imaging findings, everything. And the examiner, two of them were there: the lay examiner and the examiner. Both of mm -hmm. them are bent under the table. They are searching for the card. And ah, we could I find see. the card. And uh, then we realized the candidate had taken it. By the time they got it back, it was past one minute. And then we started the station. And uh, I, I had less time on that. I understand your point. So um, I would just say, friends, that um, <laughs> no, Salmaru, you don't worry, please. I would just okay. say that these type of things that do happen. But at the end of the day, um, I do agree to this, that we do put in our hard work, but a uh, few things are destined and few things are fated. So at times, um, uh, the day is not ours, but let's think positive and let everything be on the same track and let everything be uh, the happy moments for you. Whatever it is, even if they are not in your favor, we can make it in our favor. So my request to all of you would be that please, just be positive, think positive and create whatever is the situation out of that. Let's create the best situation for ourselves. All right. So it's not always happening. It's one odd event. So if one odd event has happened, we should not keep it in mind. We should think positive that with 99% of the candidates, everything goes good. Okay. So let's think that way. Exactly. Yes, Janavi, I do have this 100% um, uh, faith on this that uh, at times, if it's fated, the things would turn your way. And if it's not, then of course, tiny things, they come a little, you know, difficult. But then definitely some other blessings are coming your way. All right. So the idea to meet here is that let's be positive in the heart, not only from outside. Let's be positive from inside and let's create the positive situation from whatever we face. Because 
at the end of the day, it's just one day of exam and that's it. I mean, we have got so many things, so many blessings to count upon. All right. So be strong within yourself. Exactly as breathe in, breathe out, do your meditation, pray to the almighty with all these blessings, support, positivity. Let's tell yourself whatever it would be, we will face it bravely. Whatever would be the situation, we'll come out strongly. Whatever would be the station, we would be the best in the circuit. I started up with these words. Have faith in yourself. And if one has to pass in the circuit, that should be Anubhati. If one has to pass in the circuit, that should be Somya. If one has to pass in the circuit, that should be Amar, my boy, Daniel, my boy. Muhammad, my boy, that should be Antar, my boy, that should be all my girls, Anita, Amrita, Babita, Dina, Divya, my sweetie, and Iman, Tanjila, you all can do great. Thank you so much, Naseem. Just tell yourself that you're the best. And it's not that I'm saying only, I mean it. Muhammad, I took your name. <laughs> you have to have belief in yourself, okay? Please, Ritu, Sindhu, you all are amazing. Amrita, you all are great. The only thing is, Janavi, Faiza, you all are the best. Sadia, my sweetheart, Umelela, my girl, you all are amazing. Have full faith in you guys. Ishu, my dearest, my love, you all would do it and you will all turn out to be the best. Seri, you are the best. Nagina, you are my sweetheart. Tammy, you are my brave girl. Iman, you will do the best, sweetie. You all would come out stronger. And may these words be full of uh, blessings for you guys. May Salma Ruhi, everything comes out to be the best. Noora, my dear, and Anna, my boy. I hope Muhammad and Anna, everything is going fine. And I know that you guys can do it, my three. Masrat, you are amazing. And you know it, that where you were and where you are. Just tell them that you are the best and you will feel that everything would go fine. Again, I'm telling you that please, if some difficult station is there, it's difficult for everyone. Please don't get overwhelmed by that and let the circuit go its way. It should not get, you know, uh, affected. The other stations should not get affected on account of one or two stations. All right. Thank you so much, Padma Priya. Today, you managed to change your name and I love you so much for this. Thank you so much. Love you all. I mean it that I want a screenshot of all those positive thoughts. Five points for everyone, which would make our mindset, which we would see every one to two hours to tell ourselves that we are the best. We will do it. We are RFA family. We are strong. We have worked hard. We would wait for being successful because we would just take the circuit its way and we would not be nervous at all. You would listen to it again and again. You would read to it again and again. I'll send the voice notes. I'll meet you guys before exam. And the recording would be uploaded. Oh, May, no problem at all. Just promise me that you will do your best. Go as a warrior. Fight as a warrior. Ups and downs. Face it and tell yourself, no problem. I'll come back to the circuit. Others are making mistakes as well. I'm not alone. I will fight till the end. And I will prove myself to be the best. And we will meet in another Zoom session with celebrations, congratulations, and you all would do it. Lots and lots of prayers from the heart. You will be sitting in exam. You will be in the circuit. My heart would be with you guys. The entire RFA team will be praying for you guys. It's yet another day of our assessment. But let me tell you that take it as that you're already successful. Don't forget, you're starting with 10 by 10. Don't let it come down reach till the 10 by 10 until the station is over love you all see you guys in your whatsapp groups don't stay uh don't stay nervous just come up with the full of your confidence you would see the change tell yourself i'm the best and you will be successful thank you very much love you all see you guys soon bye bye and best of luck from the entire team of marketeers see you guys soon let's be successful thank you so much bye bye